The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations, Maker's mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lady Inquisitor, please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Fadas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Liliana and Cassandra are candidates to become the Divine. How is that possible? Not yet, but they could be. We need them to be. There is precedent. Other times when clerics remained deadlocked, a successor was chosen from outside the clergy. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Leliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Ah! Come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Ah, uh, Your Worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Bilhasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition. Joining forces. That could be a powerful alliance. My people have never made a full-blown alliance with a foreign power before. This would be a big step. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. 
No, I'm good. It's... Uh... I'm used to them being... over there. It's been a while. I thought the Kunara wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. You'll be quick, will you? I'm a runner. They may be running. No need for commentary. Just do your job. This is part of my job. It is if I say it is. Right you are. Oh! Oh, Bells, it's you. Um, <clears throat> Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and its arriving throngs. Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> There are problems coming out of Halam Shiral. There are always problems from Halam Shiral. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. The previous quartermaster survived Haven. Where is she? She... had views. Has views. Perfectly legitimate ones, if you share them, Inquisitor. I believe it was felt that your quartermaster should be more palatable, now that the Inquisition is in Orlais. She continues to serve, just not at the fore. <laughs> How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think... I think I like this job. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Want a drink? of a hankering for company. When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day they found a dog, a wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? You stopped them, cut the dog down. I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs, the neck straining and twisting. And I turned around, went inside and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You said you were just a boy. I was old enough to know the dog was suffering and that it was wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We... could... make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. When we first met, you were saving peasants from demons and outlaws. You're not a man who shuts his eyes. A little insane, maybe. Of course you'd make light of it. You make saving the world look easy. The rest of us can only dream of matching what you've done. Don't you see? 
It's not just about what happened back then. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Briala. The Duchess. And Christopher. Right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A skinny elven puppet arse at that. Wonder how long before she forgets her poor elves. Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party? I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things, with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That, and Briala being an idiot, the whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. What did you think of the masks? What masks? The masks. Everyone had them on their faces. Those weren't their faces. What did you think about what happened at Adamant? What do you want to hear? The Nightmare said terrible things to all of us. You included. It said it was like me. No, I was like it. Worse, a lie, a twisted to hurt, unless it isn't. I help the hurt, then make them forget so I fly free. It steals their fear, gloating, gluttonous. I don't make them forget for me. It's for them, easier for them, but it's for me too, so I can wash clean. I'm not like it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm me. And if I'm not, you'll stop me. You'll kill me. It's all right, Cole. No one is going to kill you. No, no, don't say that. You need to. If I'm bound or broken, you need to kill me. Before was wrong. But that was when I didn't know. I can't not know again. No one gets hurt because of me. Please. You saw the Divine, or the Spirit acting like her. What did you think she was? Helpful. That isn't an answer. It was hers. Spirits aren't able to do what I do, but I can. I am me. She was her, whatever she was. What did you think of the fortress itself? It scared me before. I couldn't feel through the fear. This time it was sad. Too much pain, darkness. They die in waves against the wall, bleeding, but the blood inside is the same. No one should live there. Bad things happen. What did you think of the Grey Wardens? They obeyed orders to hurt people they were supposed to protect. They were like the bad Templars. You should have banished them. You seemed to be uncomfortable in the Fade. Yes, wrought, right and rigid. Can't relax, can't release. Shouldn't have been there like that. Like looking at a picture of a picture of yourself, but you're a picture too. I wanted to flit, fly, flow back to freedom, but frozen instead. Frightened. Not like that. It should be like me. I'll talk to you later. If you like. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? 
The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. The fun never ends in Skyhold, does it? The Inquisitor was hilarious. That's what they'll say one day, you watch. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars... This cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you of all people say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. Many extraordinary things have happened to get us to this point. I'm not so certain. I think it has been a long time coming. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. You're not the only candidate. What about Leliana? Leliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy. But she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. Leliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. And that would be chaos for us all. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place. But it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. So, this is your new crusade? I've agreed to nothing yet. And if the Chantry calls on you? Then I will do whatever I can, for as long as I can. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Was. The smugglers we interrogated gave up the Red Templar's main source of Red Lyrium, Inquisitor. It's located in the Dales, near a town called Sarnia. Destroying the mine there will cripple Samson's operations. Excellent work, Commander. I'll investigate the mine. Destroying the Red Templar's source of Lyrium will be a loss Samson won't soon forget. 
There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations, the machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. I'm pleased you had a good time. Political gambits? Broken promises? Half-truths? It is a palace full of motivation. And motivation is where great things happen. In any event, Gaspar should be a steadfast ally. Briala will keep him in check, and look after the elves. I hope Briala is able to use her position to help our people. Our people? Who are? Oh, you mean elves? I'm sorry, I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Nor should you. You're not defined by the shape of your ears. They're not your people. No, they are not. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the Elves of Orlais, I believe Briala is doing quite well on their behalf. She is an admirable woman. So you don't have anything in common with Elves, but you admire her for fighting for them. I admire many people whose interests I do not share. She organized resistance against a powerful enemy, using only her wits and the resources at hand. That demands respect, especially in a world where most would look at her and only see a pair of pointed ears. Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. An empress dead, an emperor under your spell, and that elven harpy eating out of your hand, if she doesn't bite it off. All this dancing, politics, and murder ah, makes me a bit homesick. That's something you'd like to do more often, then? Watch as you twist an entire empire around your little finger. Yes, please. Of course, that leaves only to Vinter. And it wouldn't work as well there. No. Why not? Our dances are so much more intense. If an evening lacks a murder, we sniff and call it a ball. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. Tasted of despair. It's fascinating. I should go. Naturally. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... They must be desperate. It's much less flattering when you put it that way. If only being divine were as simple as looking good in a large hat. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering. But it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? Carry on. My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. 
They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but you won't tell me what it's for. My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. I would do no less for you, after all. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. make heads or tails of this. Age regression, who is this potion for? How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. No one can say the evening wasn't memorable. No, I should think not. I must confess, when Celine was killed, my first reaction wasn't sorrow. It was disappointment. How could the Empress of Orléans be taken in by the Duchess's plot? Powerful or not, even an Empress can't know everything. No, evidently not. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. Playing the game was thrilling. We did just make history. With Celine gone, I don't know if it will be for the better or the worse. Although I do wish Varric would show a bit more restraint in his accounts of the evening. <laughs> 